Good morning. It's nice to see faces I haven't seen in a while. And apparently, most of us are able to set a digital clock the appropriate way. For those of you who were here sitting in the pews an hour early, maybe the prayer team can help. I want to share something that touched me a long time ago. It's not dramatic, but evidently big for me. So I remember like yesterday, but 50 years ago, I walked out of Strong Hall at the University of Kansas, struggling to open the huge steel door against the wind, and finally standing there in the sun looking at the cashier's check I had been given. I was an out-of-state grad student on a research stipend. I don't know how much I asked for. I don't remember what, whether it was a loan or a grant. I don't know what supplies or expenses it paid for. What has stuck with me these years is how easy it was to get and that someone like John and Mary Smith had made it possible. Their donor names were on the receipt. <clears throat> For all the moments and memories that a graduate education can change a life, for some reason, that is an embedded memory for me. I'm sharing this because it's got to have something to do with why I got involved with planned giving and legacy. Why I want Good Shepherd's endowment to skyrocket and why I want to help each of you to be a part of that. The legacy giving is really simple. The principle of a gift is kept whole. The interest and earnings from those whole gifts support any number of faith needs. You know, legacy giving can be oversold. Like you are preserving the very best of who you are. Or, as a donor, your memory is made whole. And my all-time favorite is, you become a partner in the search for meaning. <laughs> I, I got to admit that a small part of me believes some of those things. But I also believe in the simple truth that it's easier for Good, Shaper, Good Shepherd to make Christ known in our Corral Canyons and beyond when we have a healthy endowment whose earnings can fund that effort. Any of us can make a living donation to the endowment. Marcia and I make a modest annual gift to the endowment above our pledge because we know just from funding college educations how small regular investments can balloon over time. And of course, any of us can gift a bequest to Good Shepherd in our wills and estate plans. The estate of Sue Crawford Andel just made such a gift this year. You can find her name on the legacy plaque in the columbarium. In closing, I want to invite each of you to consider what's not an oversell. Gifting to our endowment will stand up for Good Shepherd, really, for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you.